Today, and um, welcome back to the shop. Today, we'll be working on a model steam engine inspired by Mr. P. All the screws on this are 632 or 832. This base is the top of an old valve that my dad tripped over at a junkyard and bought. Where'd this piece of aluminum come from? It came from a random piece of aluminum in our shop. Did the screw not line up in the hole? So what was the parent size of that stock? Of that aluminum stock it was one by four inches it's an inch thick and four inches wide okay now snug them down This crankshaft was made out of just cold roll steel and component pieces. What's the crank pin made out of? The crank pin is made out of... Eighth inch welding rod. Welding rod. Mm-hmm. Just give it, a little, give it a little oil. Just the littlest drop you can get. up here on the journal so get that there. Does it spin good? There it is. Now what diameter is that? <laughs> That's three eighths diameter and in the the journal part of it I think was one sixty fourth more than three eighths. have a little bit of in shake in it. Yep. Just like building a clock. That needs to just put it snug. <laughs> wow, it's been off. Okay, now we need to put a little oil right here. How old are you today? Nine. How many? Nine. When's your birthday? December twenty second. I right, don't say it. Today is your birthday, Wingus. Hang on. The only thing different that we did to Mr. Pete's steam engine is Dad did this. Okay. So when I did this, I had this in the vise on the mill, and I faced this off. Nope, I take that back. I bored the hole first because that was the hardest part for me to do on our primitive equipment was I bored this hole first and I machined a pin to fit this hole pretty closely. And then I put the pin on some parallels and then used that to hold the, the bore straight to the bed of the vise or the bed of the milling machine table. Then I faced this off and bored a hole uh, one step bigger than three eighths and then machined a steel pin that presses down in that hole. That way I've got a steel boss for my screw to screw into. And that that's our pivot point right there. And that by doing that, you don't have to have all these dimensions critically square. It'll find its own find its own uh, plane of rotation. Okay, give it a look. That's backward. No, turn your piston head around, or cylinder head. Turn your head around. Oh. 
Get some oil on it. A little bit there. A little bit on the rod. Okay, look for your witness marks. Okay, there's three marks. And I think those three marks were on that end. Yeah, two yep. marks. So that end goes up over here. And the flat spot goes on this side. Mm -hmm. You're probably going to have to have me push the mow rings on. <laughs> Uh oh, here sorry, comes the ambulance. Sorry, I'm twirling in the background. Right. Yeah, that's the one. Running. This rod ended. It is a brass quarter inch brass square stock. Quarter inch brass square stock and drilled and tapped to fit six thirty twos. Yep, drilled and tapped to six thirty two. And it don't have to be on there tight. What's the little piece of quarter inch tubing? What's that piece of tubing in there for? It's for tightening down. Well, that way you got something to tighten and tighten the screw. You can tighten the screw down against that tubing and give me a screwdriver. So hook the air up to it and let's see if it'll work. Look at that air. Runs off the air leak. How much pressure we got on that? Zero. Yeah, it doesn't even show on the gauge. Let it run slow. It was running so slow before. There oh, we go. That's slower. That is cool, buddy. We got a little run out in our flywheel somehow. Or maybe the crankshaft got bent. I don't know. That crankshaft was hard to make. Can you hear it? Sure does wobble. <laughs> Now all of the valving in here and all the 
every way, everything that I did in here to get the valving right is very well described in Mr. Pete's videos. He's made several videos of making these uh, wobbler steam engines, and I followed the videos pretty closely for getting all my porting in here. So that's all the... If you want to know how to actually build one of these, go watch a Mr. Pete 222 uh, video. He's got vi several video series on I'm building wob yeah, on building uh, wobbler steam engines. So we wish you a merry Christmas and watch out for Santa's reindeer. <laughs> yeah, don't run over Santa Claus's reindeer. Really cool, buddy. Give me five.